Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 26th, but you know the timing is fluid, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? What's coming in? Ten of coins. Ten of coins, that is success. Financial success, that's permanence. This could be um, long-term family matters uh, coming to fruition. Uh, a lot of comfort. Somebody may be starting a family. Getting some family support. Starting a family business. Maybe inheriting, inheriting some money or inheriting a family business or getting married or whatever this is, this is permanent and it's comfortable, okay? So maybe working on your home, changes in the home perhaps. Let's see what's going on here. Something about the home front. Ace of Wands reversed. Hmm. Six of Cups reversed. Now this is packing up and leaving home, leaving the past behind. Children leaving perhaps, doesn't have to be, but, or somebody, this could be a separation. This is packing up, leaving home, no growth. There could be a change in the home. There could, it could be have to do with a child, doesn't have to be. A change in residence perhaps, but... There's no more growth in a certain situation because the Ace of Wands is reversed. That's something going south. Somebody could be moving south. Hmm. Two of Swords. Now that is uh, unsure. Unsure. Um, protective. Protecting themselves. Somebody is in protective mode. Unsure of what they want to do. Conflicted. We have some conflict here. Whether they want to uh, leave. Whether they want to pack up and leave home. And maybe it's a very comfortable home. It's permanent, right? It's stable. It's solid. Secure. And, you know, they have to make a choice. So we have somebody here that has to make a choice. Now, this is freedom from obligation. They may have to leave some children behind, you know, to move or something like that. doesn't have to be, but... This is a choice in, uh, leave to leave the past behind. Perhaps there's no growth there. There's no desire to stay there. Maybe there's no passion at home. No passion in the relationship, but there's a lot of permanence, right? It's very, it's financially stable, okay? Or it's very comfortable because this is, this is uh, financial stability. Very comfortable, but there's really no passion. There's no drive. There's no ambition. There's no desire. There's a lack of happiness by the looks of things. Um, there could be some sort of responsibilities to the family. That's why somebody is staying, but this is unsure. You know, this is a difficult decision. It's a painful, stressful decision to leave this behind. It is because it's so stable. It's perm. It's, 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 you know, secure. So it's hard to leave this security behind. So there's a difficult decision here. Somebody is, is probably, uh, thinking about it a lot and having a hard time. Page of swords reversed. Now this is a, this is bad news. Okay. It's bad news arriving. Um, cut off guard. Somebody could be cut off guard. They may have no words. Um, tongue-tied uh, may have something to do with a child as well there's something to do with children who are here or a child there could be a child that is is on the mind okay so a child that is on the mind um, could be dealing with Libra Gemini or Aquarius um, conflicted about who the past or this child conflicted about what to do ace of swords the ace of swords is taking a new approach coming up with a new idea this is an awakening the truth having the power but there's some sort of pain involved here there's pain in leaving this behind so it's because two plus one equals a three of swords so somebody is is really having a hard time uh, making a decision they're undecided and i think it has because they're dealing with um they're caught off guard by some sort of 
opportunity perhaps uh, maybe to build a new home or to build something but they may have to leave something behind that uh, you know they're unsure about nine of wands so the nine of wands is somebody that is very strong and is expecting trouble so it, this is expecting trouble we have an individual here that has suffered um, has been through a lot of battles and has overcame them. Now they have an opportunity because aces are opportunities. They have an opportunity of some sort. And it's stressful. This is the, It's like they've got this new idea or this, this new opportunity to do something. But they're definitely unsure about it. Hmm. And I think it's because of a child. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I love so there's an opportunity for love here. I think it's it's a it's a very, you know, this is a new idea and this is a flood of emotion. Okay? So somebody's uh feelings or somebody has this new love or a new opportunity for love. But in order to, and it's like they see the love and they want the love. This is a big opportunity for love. So we do have an individual that has been wounded, has persevered, has come out on top. This person is a protector as well. They've been very wounded. Maybe a little, um, well, he's got the Ace of Wands in his hand. So it looks like he wants the new opportunity. So he's got the Ace of Wands in his hands. He's got the Ace of Swords here and the Ace of Cups. So Ace, Ace, Ace is 1-1-1. Okay. So he, it looks like we have an individual that has a definitely a new opportunity for something passionate, for something truthful, and for something loving. So this is a really big opportunity, but there's... It's a challenge. The Nine of Wands, is, there's a challenge. There's a challenge here. This person may be a veteran. Um, definitely some sort of soldier or a bodyguard or something like that. And he may be expecting trouble or worried, worried. He's on guard of some sort. Nine of Wands, he's on guard. But looks like he's, he's moving forward because he's, he's moving away from something. Interesting. The world, the world reversed. So the world reversed is stuck in the present, lacking goals. Lack of closure. There's um, some unfinished business here. We have an individual here that is frustrated. They are frustrated. They're thinking, thinking, thinking. Is this the right decision? What should I do? They got this new opportunity to step into a new life with the world card, even though it's reversed. And so they're, it's like, but they're still, they're very worried. Somebody is very, very worried about following their heart. You know, it's heart and mind. Okay. And maybe the decision is, uh, because this is a decision, a choice between this is logic and this is heart. So we have an individual that has to make a very tough decision you know, using probably their mind and their heart, using both, okay? They're going to have to balance out both of these feelings, emotions, thoughts, whatever. And I think it's, 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 uh, you know, with this, it's, they're caught off guard. Somebody is caught off guard by this, maybe the new opportunity or something like that. But the world reversed is refusing to explore a new avenue. So somebody may be refusing to explore new avenues because they want to protect themselves or they've been hurt so bad in the past. This is like stuck, stuck in the present, holding on to the past, holding on to the past hurts or holding on, I don't know if it's because of a past relationship or a child, somebody is holding on to where they're at because there's, it's like there's something in the way of their own success awakening so this is the hangman so the hangman is uh, going through a period of enlightenment okay uh, thinking a lot thinking 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 now uh, this person is working on letting go 
they're working on letting go, they're learning some kind of lesson, uh, thinking about the past, thinking about the future, uh, new perspective. Okay, this is a new perspective and this is a new perspective. So definitely uh, starting to think differently, becoming more, this is an awakening and this is an awakening. So we, some, and this is, somebody is going through an awakening here. And they're going through this awakening because uh, something to do with love. Because the Ace of Cups is love. There could be a new love, um, a new start, a new start in love. Something, you know, this is, a, this is emotional honesty right here. Emotional honesty. So somebody is, is, is really trying to follow their heart. They're trying, but it's not easy. It's definitely, a, it's a struggle. Somebody is definitely struggling. Uh, they probably know that if they move, they will be they 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 may be freed from their obligation. The Six of Cups reversed because that's freedom from obligation. I mean, we could have a child. This is just changing the story, but the Page of Swords in reverse could be a child that says something. The Page of Swords in reverse is, is usually a child or somebody that is immature that says something very truthful, says something very honest that causes some sort of conflict that causes. A conflict in a relationship or something so just beware that could be coming up um, the page of swords in reverse is usually an individual who doesn't think before they speak or they say something without thinking and it causes conflict so there could be there could be some sort of uh, words that are said that uh, um, make somebody think about uh, what they want to do or something like that um, Mm -hmm. But this awakening, that's a new perspective. A new perspective is needed in, come, in, in learning a new perspective. We have an individual that is really digging deep. They are digging deep. And they are going through a period of growth. And it's emotional growth. Which is interesting. Two of coins, the two of coins reversed. We, this individual may have financial issues. I'm not sure, but the two of coins reversed could be somebody that uh, has a lot of ups and downs financially, lacks balance, lacks organization, is overwhelmed. We have an individual here that's overwhelmed. They may be overextending themselves. They may not have any contingency plan. And now they're getting a wake-up call. Somebody is getting a wake-up call. They are getting a wake-up call. There's, it's like life is changing. You can't hold on to something that you're not supposed to have per se. It's hard to explain. But something needs to go. Something needs to go. This is too much. This person has been fighting and has fought, a, fought, 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 fought a good battle. You know, been fighting their whole life for for to survive this is a survivor okay we have a survivor here this survivor has an opportunity for love okay the ace of cups but it feels in order to have this or outpouring of love or whatever this thing is that they are being given they will have to look at things from a new perspective and let something go somebody has to let something go so that's why it's such a big decision so there's a decision in that somebody is struggling, struggling to let go, struggling to let go. You can't have both. You can't, you can't have both. It's going to be one or the other. So somebody is in the process. It's thinking time, okay, of evaluation or reevaluation. Somebody is evaluating their future and they aren't quite ready to feel. It feels like they aren't quite ready to step into the new life because the world is reversed. This is um, stagnation. Um, not learning from mistakes, not choosing to step into the new life, stuck, stuck, stuck. We have somebody here that is stuck, and that's why they're going through this is period of enlightenment. So there could be, there could, so many the hey man, we could have somebody that withdraws for a minute. It's kind of like the hermit, but not really, you know, to become enlightened and get the answers that they are looking for. So, so we definitely have an individual that is thinking um they're thinking about their their future and what they want to do seven a lot of options seven of cups and there's a lot of options here um and you have to choose wisely so somebody is, is struggling with a tough decision as to 
what is the best option? Should I stay or not? And um, trying to do too much is pretty prominent here with these two cards. I mean, I have an individual that is, is really trying to do too much. And they may, they may come up against somebody that... Um, is a problem with that page of swords reversed and I don't know who this person is but this person is uh, childish it's either a child or it's childish this person may play mind games um, wheel of fortune wheel of fortune so wheel of fortune is positive change moving in a new direction one chapter is closing a new one is beginning there's destined, a destined change, of course. Life is always changing. And it's funny because it's right underneath the Six of Cups reverse. The Six of Cups reverse is always changing. Okay? Nothing stays the same. So this is a big change. Life is changing. And this has to do with home. It has to do with permanence. It has to do with where you live. Somebody has a new opportunity to go live someplace else or to move on from something where there's no more passion, there's no more desire, there's no, uh, well, life, okay? They have an opportunity to step into this new chapter, this new phase of life. They have a it, it's, an, it's an opportunity to change their destination. To, this is not how the story ends. You know what I mean? So that's what this is. So somebody, ha but there's really like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because they, they'll have to leave the past behind to step into this next chapter. So what I feel is though this individual is going to decide to let something go. Because they are going to get the answers that they have been seeking. I do believe that they are. I think that they're going to get the answers that they have been seeking. And I think that they are definitely discontent with the thought of leaving something behind. That they um, once lived with or, oh, you know, something like that. I think there's a level of being distraught. But I feel like they are going to accept the challenge and take this as a new adventure because this guy has one of these wands in his hand. This is a new adventure. This is exciting. I'm going to go for it. So I think the decision is going to be made to just go for it. I think that uh, somebody is going to follow their heart. They're going to take a new approach. And... Uh, choose to leave something behind. Even though it hurts. <sighs> Five of Swords. Doing what's best for them. We have an individual that is going to do what's best for them. And that may mean turning their back on somebody else. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands reversed. That is blocking. Not moving forward in a certain direction. Feeling guilty. Definitely feeling guilty. This individual is feeling very, very guilty for wanting to follow their heart. So yeah, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups reversed is refusing to move on, staying put, pretending to be happy, emotional weakness, somebody that has been pretending to be happy where they're at. And I feel like they've stayed because they feel guilty. But I feel like there is change in the air. There is definitely change in the air. Change in the, change in the air. Okay? We have an individual that is going to find their strength. It's to take action and follow the heart. 
even if it means the other person that they are walking away from doesn't see their logic. So I do believe there is going to be a message that is delivered, the Page of Swords reversed, that is a conflicting message. It's a message that somebody doesn't want to hear. This person has been thinking about it before they deliver the message. I think the message has to do with the truth. This person is going to speak the truth. They're going to speak the truth. They, um, it was definitely a very tough decision. They thought about it long and hard by the, t by the looks of things. And, you know, they, it's not about being right. It's about being happy. And so this person is deciding to follow their heart into something, um, real. They don't want to keep playing games. They don't want to keep holding on to something that isn't of value to them anymore. There's definitely blocked emotions here. This is blocked and this is blocked emotions. Blocked. Ace of Cups emotions. We have an individual here that has been blocking their emotions. But I feel like they're about to open up. They're about to speak up. This is communication. They're about to speak up. Somebody is about to speak up. And when they do, they're going to be speaking some facts. They're going to be speaking some truths. And these truths may hurt. They are moving in a new direction. They see another option and they want it. They've gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. And it's all about love at this point. Let me pick these up. You see? It is. He's looking at a huge opportunity for love. And even though this person is a little unsure, I believe... The wheel is spinning. I do believe the wheel is spinning. Done pretending. Woken up. Letting go. That's what I see. Good luck.